previous episodes in this short series, we've looked at the idea of mythquakes, about that a myth is an unverified or untested assumption, that a mythquake occurs when we have a clash between our assumptions and reality. We've got a mythquake scale to help measure the potential risk or the potential severity. And we also looked at mythquakes as being potential opportunity, something useful to us, something that we want to create or want to have. But so what do we do about mythquakes, particularly from an enterprise architecture perspective? The first point is about principles and practices. The first one is that we need some realism. We need critical thinking, we need discipline, and we need self-honesty. Without those, we're going nowhere. We're going to be at the mercy of every mythquake that comes along. So mythquake preparedness means that we face the mythquakes. We look for the risks, the opportunities, the implications of a clash. This is often where the politics of enterprise architecture come in and exactly why enterprise architecture is so relentlessly political in practice. Because we're working, helping people to work through all of the mythquakes, preferably before they become too severe. Remember that refusing to face a potential mythquake increases the risk, increases the potential severity. We also need to build mythquake resilience about how we recover from mythquakes. The first level one is just simply the embarrassment of having fallen for a mythquake, of having an assumption that was challenged. We need to have the emotional strength and resilience to cope with that and not try to fight off the mythquake. And we also need intentional engagement to say, I know that I don't know, to say that I know I've got assumptions here that I haven't tested yet. And therefore there may well be mythquakes arising from those failures to test. So we reach out, we build tactics around realism, around development of critical thinking, around the discipline of facing up to mythquakes and the self-honesty to actually say, yeah, it's an assumption. There are problems, however, where there, while there's a very real need, a huge need for critical thinking, precisely because of the presence of mythquakes, there's usually a huge anti-want for critical thinking. We have to build that even though people don't necessarily want it because it's scary, embarrassing and the rest. We need people to build preparedness, resilience and engage directly with them. What's important here is that the same principles apply for every level of mythquake. So dealing with the small, learning how to deal with the small everyday issues helps us survive the big ones. It gives us practice on dealing with big issues. And all of our toolkit for enterprise architecture, particularly if we see it as a generalised tools for change, where change is all about mythquakes, leads us to the, the need to move the scale from everyday enterprise architecture to a literally global scale in order to have the tools that we need to face the really big mythquakes that are coming our way. So there's a simple concept, the idea of a mythquake, of an untested assumption meeting up with reality and what we need to do to work with it.